Hello, how are you all? Uh, hello from Haven House. Uh, I wanted to give you a little um, talk about painting technique um, and how the paintings come to life. Um, I've got one on the easel just now. Um, it's not even halfway through. Um, so I just want to give you like a little run through of how these paintings actually happen. Um, so I start with a wash um, of colour. So I'd cover the whole canvas in a light wash, um, like according to sort of like the sections of the colour. So just really blocky at that point. And I use really, uh, actually like the size of the brushes that I use at that point would be like that, just to literally get the colour in there. And uh, the paint's really quite uh, thin, you know, like a wash of colour. And then as the painting progresses, then the colour kind of gets thicker and the paint brushes get smaller. So I end up putting detail in with tiny, tiny little brushes. And I go dark and then I go light. Um, so this painting is going to take hours. <laughs> Uh, it's of Sinclair Guernigo Castle, which is three miles um, that way, uh, and it's one of my favourite places to visit in Caithness. Um, and it's actually, um, the idea came about, I mean obviously if I visit that much, like I love it, so I had to paint it. And I painted it before, but I just wanted it from this angle. And I remember I was out there one night and the sky was actually doing amazing things it was like navy blue and then there was bits of copper and gold coming out in the sky as well so how I paint is I do take photographs um, but then I use like a lot of artistic license um, to uh, bring out like the, the I don't know I guess the spirit of the landscape um, and the feelings that I was feeling at the time so for example um, this is the uh, photograph that I probably took uh, and I'm basing it on these and then this one the composition so I've got the composition from these two and then there was another um, time when I was out there and then the sky was doing that so it's kind of putting it all into the mix shaking it about and then coming out with a painting um, so I guess that's kind of what, what I teach in my lessons is um, the technique. But what I try and encourage like my students to do is to go out and find their own inspiration. And, and, and in that way, they'll be able to get their mark onto the canvas. And they, they're not just replicating what I'm doing. But I feel that painting should come from the heart um, and from your own response to something. So... Yeah, I think it's great to learn the technique, but then you also need to have that courage and that confidence to go out and find your own subject. Um, and a way to do that is to, yeah, to when you're actually like transfixed by, by a sunset or a landscape and you just think, oh, that's beautiful. Um, and that's a way to get your own inspiration. So that's what I talked about last time in my blog was about being inspired. So I guess that brings it back into how it then relates into painting and how I can get that inspiration onto canvas. Um, I just wanted to show you as well that that no matter what um, what I paint, it, the technique is always the same. So you're going to start with your wash, and then put in your colours, um, and then as you like as the painting progresses, then the paint gets thicker, and then it's just using dots and dashes. And again, with this one, there was a lot of inspiration. It was a lot of intuit intuition, um, and just sort of wanting to capture that wave. Um, moment you know so I think the assistant's getting restless <laughs> and uh, it's really lovely to connect with you again so I will see you again soon bye take care